During the classroom, we meet from 7 a.m. to about noon. Generally, students that have something prepared that they've been working on will just step up in front of everyone and give a presentation. J-mold or something like that, it's, it makes it a little bit easier, I think. Then there's a large amount of discussion and decision-making that happens. It's important for us all to be there because the decisions are made as a group. So it's important that we're all involved in that process. It's also important because we don't all have enough time to research every single thing. And so it becomes a teaching process that's done by our peers. They have all these screws along the edge. Well, all aspects of the entire building have to be completely thought through. Every single thing you can think of is being researched by someone. We also work on drawings, uh, making sure that all the details are done correctly and that it's done in a way that we think is um, architecturally beautiful. We're really trying to utilize all the sunflower wood from sunflower ammunition and making sure that we kind of, you know, I guess in a way celebrate that and, and kind of uh, call attention to that. Quantifying that wood, you know, the, there's complexities with it. It's almost 60 years old. There's a lot of issues with it, and but we really want to use it. And so working on the exterior skin is probably the, the most difficult thing to work on. To be able to look at it in 3D in front of you and actually see the building in front of you as a real object and to bring the construction and the architecture together. We all sort of had a basic understanding of what it was going to feel like, but to stand in a 10 foot tall space and to understand that it actually is two feet taller than most normal rooms and, and to feel that space has been really great. We're pretty far along in the building process. Basically hold the same hours here in the warehouse and we do it rain or shine snow or sleet, and it's pretty cold in here right now. Um, it's a snow day today. Building modular is extremely challenging. Um, I'm not sure that I would have ever had that experience if Dan had not gone this direction. There are more benefits th than not to it. Um, I think you get a stronger building. I think that working in an enclosed environment keeps the building from having weather on it immediately. So many of us won't have an opportunity to build modularly again. Uh, this is a great opportunity and you walk away with the same knowledge. In the Kansas climate, I must admit, although we're freezing in this warehouse right now, it would be worse if we had a wind factor on us, so uh, modular building is okay. It'll be really great on May 4th to have the building being dedicated and to see everyone there with a realization that there is change happening. I hope that they will look at the building and stand in the building and around the building and get that feeling.